Hi students, today in Viking time, you are going to complete your class of planning survey and Naviance. If you are a senior, you are going to complete the class of 2022 post-grad survey. If you are an underclassman, you are going to complete the DHS 9th through 11th planning survey. So the first thing that you need to do is to log into Naviance. As a reminder, the easiest way to log into Naviance is through your OneLink account. Remember, you will use your student email address and password. Once you are logged in, if you are a senior on your homepage, you will see under important to do's and tasks, the class of 2022 post-grad survey. You will click on that survey and then up in the right hand corner, it will say to complete this task, you need to take this survey. It will be highlighted and you will be allowed to click on that and start the survey. If you are an underclassman, once you are on your homepage, you will see under important to do's and tasks, DHS 9th through 11th planning survey. You will click on that. Again, in the right hand corner, you will see to complete this task, you need to take this survey. You will be able to select take this survey. Alrighty, there is another way to get to the survey. Once logged in, you can click on about me and then under about me, you'll see surveys and then surveys from your school. You can click on that and then you can select on the corresponding survey. Now for the class of 2022 postgrad planning survey, it will look, sorry about that. It will look similar to this. You'll do your first last name, student ID. You will enter in a personal email address. You will answer if you have updated your email address in Naviance. If no, please do so after this survey. You need to select your post high school plans, the colleges that you are considering if you are planning to go to college, a major if you're planning to go to college, you will need to answer if you plan to attend a two-year college first. So this might be Houston Community College or Wharton County. You need to answer how you're planning to pay for school. If you've taken the SAT or ACT, if not, do you plan on taking it? Enter in your SAT and your ACT scores if it pertains to you. Are you planning to be a college athlete? You can answer no if this does not pertain to you. Um, answer all of these questions. Are you considering the military? If so, which branch? Are you working with a recruiter? What is that recruiter's contact information? If you're planning to seek full-time full employment after high school, um, what might that be? And then if you had any college visits over the summer, and then if you're planning to ask for letters of recommendations, who are you planning to ask? Alrighty, so that is my seniors. Now I'm gonna move over to my underclassmen. Again, underclassmen, it will be DHS 9th through 11th post-grad planning. You will enter in the level of education your parents completed. Will you be the first to attend college? What are your plans after high school? As of right now, I know they might change. What are you concerned about regarding high school? If you've decided on a college or a, or a career or a college major, yes or no. And if so, what might that be? Um, if you're interested in learning about different careers, what are some of those careers you're interested in learning about? Do you volunteer? Have you taken the SAT or ACT? Um, do you feel you were able to achieve one or more goals from last year and what was it? What are some of your goals for this year? What activities, clubs, and sports do you participate in? How much do you know about the importance of post-secondary education? And then is there anything that you need help to prepare? So make sure that everyone is saving and finishing once you have completed all of the questions. I appreciate you for taking the time to complete the surveys so that myself, your college and career readiness advisor, and your counselors can better assist you throughout the school year. Have a wonderful day.